Yes, shalom everybody, shalom TikTok, shalom Facebook. I welcome all of you in the name of the Lord. I'm excited to host you today for a prayer moment. I want us to start exactly at um, midnight East Africa. So I'm requesting you to share the live with everybody. Tap that screen, TikTok, Facebook, share it on your profile, share it uh, on any other platform, but make sure that you share it so that somebody will be blessed as well. Yeah, I hope everybody is ready to pray. Kennedy is saying, I'm excited to join our intercessor. Yeah, let us keep our faith up. Yeah, if you're going to pray, what you need are two things, the word of God and faith. To believe that whatever thing you're praying for is, is granted already. Yeah, so that's what is expected. So let us start at exactly midnight. Yes, you have two minutes. Let's share. Let's keep sharing. We have two minutes. It's time let's pray father in the name of jesus we thank you we glorify your name father we invite your presence today your touch father we are asking for miracles sense and wonders spirit of god we're asking for healings 
turn around their lives, Father. Most of them are waiting for a very long time, Father. Let them receive answered prayer, Father. May your ears and eyes be open unto this place, Father. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let the church say, Amen. Once again, I welcome you. Today, we are looking at uh, spoken blessings. It's important that you be blessed. And um, I think I've done several teachings on the blessing on how, and how it works. So if you're here for the first time and you don't know how it goes, I'll encourage you to visit our YouTube. I've done some teachings on the blessings, who blesses, who has the authority to bless. Uh, so uh, today we are going to pray because I understand words rule our lives. The reason why it's important for you to be blessed by a man of God uh, um, is because many words, many people are speaking ill of you. Some of you, you have exes ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, whenever you're parting ways, they were not happy. They told you, you shall see. You shall see how far you'll go. You'll never find anybody like me. You shall suffer. You shall be miserable. So when people are parting ways, there are so many words that cross, uh, that move across. And maybe you thought they were joking. Those words, if you're careful, you'll, you'll tend to discover they have come to pass. It's very easy for negative words to come to pass as compared to a blessing because many people are quick to curse you. Your ex-employer, your ex-friend, people that you are doing business with and then the business went sour and they did not have kind words to speak. They cast you. And those words easily come to pass. Negative words easily come to pass as compared to positive words. I want to assure you that Words are very powerful spiritually. Most of us, we are suffering because of spoken curses. Whenever words are spoken, they don't just disappear. Words are spoken, they come around your life. They settle on you. It can come on your feet, or on your hands, on your body. Some people are sick because of spoken words. Some people are feeling fatigued because of spoken words. Your business ended. Your job ended because somebody just commented and said, we shall see. So you find that we are operating under a curse as compared to a blessing. Uh, simply because we don't know how to approach uh, the man of God to bless us. Because God blesses, but a man of God must speak it. We have the office of a priest. When I say priest, these are the pastors, apostles, uh, evangelists, teachers. Uh, those, they act on behalf of God. So don't be deceived that um, you can do well without men or, men or women of God. They do the speaking and then those words come to pass. Uh, let me read the scripture. Uh, Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 26. This was a priest blessing God's people. Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. It is a man of God speaking the blessing unto the people. And the man of God is saying, the Lord bless you. Meaning that there are some things God won't move unless a man of God speaks or a woman of God speaks. As long as they are called, as long as they've been given authority to bless, the mandate to bless, they will bless you. It doesn't matter the age. They can be 17, uh, 20 years old, 17 years old. They can be 21. A 21 years old man of God or a woman of God can bless a 60 year old man or woman it doesn't go it, it does not go by age it goes by anointing so the lord bless you and keep you so this blessing is for protection a man of god can declare a protection word around your life so uh, most of us the words that are running in your life have been sent to curse you to expose you some of us since we differed with that man or with that woman from that day we saw a lot of dangers accident on spirit most of the time you're finding yourself in accidents you almost rolled over five times you almost uh, crashed a, a bus is because the person who spoke exposed your life to dangers some of us the word that the other was spoken over your life exposed your life to poverty and lack now let, let's keep going 
so a blessing will introduce a protection around your life uh, the other thing the lord make his face shine upon you so the attention of heaven when a man of god speaks a woman of god speaks over your life the attention of heaven comes upon you is uh, okay as though god is waiting for the people you are sent on the earth to do his work to say something god does not move unless something is said uh, so it's very important for you to know the role of a man of god don't join people to bash and attack men of god and the church or women of god in the church because you're destroying people that will bless you i've never seen people bury themselves people who die i normally see men of god or women of god conducting the burial service i've never seen uh, people bury themselves or their friends they must be a man of god burying them when people are doing dedication for babies i see men of god doing it when you have bought a car or a property i see men of god coming to dedicate it why they are very key in our lives so the lord make his face shine upon you sometimes when a man of god or a woman of god speaks over your life the attention of god comes to you the spotlight of heaven comes to you the reason why we are in oblivion is because nobody has ever spoken over your life and you have never bothered to uh, to approach seeking for a blessing it's okay to seek for a blessing to seek to be blessed is okay it's fine um i've been blessed so many times by my man of god and i can testify each time he speaks that thing something changes about those spoken words they come to pass things become easier there is grace there is favor and then he says and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace so if you are here and you lack peace all the time you are very worried uh, you need to be blessed a blessing people think that it must be money no a blessing i took to the other time a blessing is the well-being of the soul of the mind you just find that you are at peace and then it flows to other departments finances just come later on but a blessing it must happen spiritually now today we want to pray against any curses i'll be praying and blessing some people later on but right now i want us to pray we want to delete any curses spoken over our finances words spoken over our uh, our businesses our relationships our marriages uh, you're wondering why is, it, why is it why is it that my marriage is very uh, shaky there's a storm around your marriage there's a woman who spoke there's a man who spoke and some people are married but there's a woman who's interested in your husband and they keep on mentioning the name of your husband all the time they have got to a shrine uh, with a picture of your husband because they are interested same way to women the same thing happens so if you're not careful curses will come and take away anything that makes you happy it can take away your marriage it can take away your joy it can take away something that is very precious so today we want to delete every word some of us are jobless or where we are the job is not even meeting your needs you must borrow and borrow and by the time it's end of month you've paid and then you start again to to borrow that is not the mind of god that's not the plan of god so today we want to pray and delete every negative word any curses and then after that by the mercies of god i'll begin to speak a blessing over your life so we cannot add a blessing on top of a curse you must delete the curse because whenever you you're blessed and there are negative words the blessing will be suspended in the air because the curse is already functioning so uh, we want to delete the curse first of all and then we declare the blessing so if you know anybody spoke ill of you your former employer your ex friend ex girlfriend ex boyfriend you know what they said they said you're a glutton they said you're a thief they said you're immoral they call you a prostitute uh, they call you a poor person they call you ugly don't just keep silent i want us to reverse those words every pronouncement that has been sent your way to demean you uh, to push you down uh, to make you look like a fool today we want to remove it we want to remove it we want to remove it i'm telling you it will happen yeah god knew that such kind of people exist there are some words even some of us our parents have spoken ill of us somebody who's jealous they spoke ill of you somebody was able to accommodate you for some years they came you went to their house ate their food but 
they were, they were not happy because you did one to three things they said i have fed you i gave you my cloth i gave you my shoes and you're treating me this way and then they spoke some words we want to ask god for mercy if it is true you sinned against them i want us to tell god forgive us then we delete every word because i believe the anointing of the holy ghost is available here is available here to delete it's not every time you can delete these things i'm telling you i've tried it god will create a window that you can change some things I'm, i've tried to pray some prayers it they were not answered for years but whenever god invites you and tells you my son my daughter this is time for you to break this thing it means god has created a window it's not all the time we transact in the spiritual realm concerning some things i'm telling you some things god must I tell you that this is the right time for you to break the curse even in our families it's not all the time you can wake up and break family curse no god can tell you no they want to break the curse god can tell you this is not the time god can tell you it's not you your son will break it your daughter will break it so whenever you hear that god has given you a chance to change anything in your bloodline anything in your life is a rare privilege yeah some things will change after 15 years others 100 years others 30 years which means even if you pray and cry and roll that thing will remain i'm telling you because i've spoken to, i've been praying for some ladies uh, and i've seen there are some things to do with marriage i know very well they they never get married because the thing that is in the family is supposed to last 200 years which means somebody else will be able to benefit but for them it's gone so don't think that getting married uh, sitting on some thrones is automatic no 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 there's a time and season for everything yeah so if god tells you my son daughter i want to bless you it's a rare conversation is a treasure so like today i believe god wants to bless some people but right now we want to delete if you know somebody cast you this is the right time Maybe you prayed but I can tell you not sometimes you can pray for things that don't pick they are not picked spiritually to be worked on no 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 not everything that's why it's important for you when you pray you get feedback if you pray for something allow God to speak to you and tell you this one is done or no this that is not done until at a particular time or go to that man of God sometimes you pray for something God tells you no 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 go to the woman of God to pray for you go to that servant of God that's why every man or woman of God is a specialist we are like consultant doctors there are those who deal with um, with tumors there are those who deal with cancer there are those who deal uh with um i'm lacking the i don't know the name of those specialist uh with um cardiac issues heart issues which means uh, if you had broken things to do with the relationship there are people who are very good they just speak a word you get healed others deal with mental issues they just speak and then you get healed so men of god are, are like consultant doctors so god will tell you go to that servant of god to bless you the others are very good in prosperity they just speak a word and your finances are, are fixed and i believe i have that grace by the mercy of god yeah so um today we want to pray and delete every negative word that has been uttered into your life you might know it reverse it they said you are a fool you'll open your mouth and say i'm not a fool They said you are immoral, you are a prostitute. I want you to open your mouth and say I am not a prostitute. They say you are a thief. Sometimes you can do a business deal and then it goes sour and then people begin to say you are a thief, you are a thief. You're not a thief, it's just a mistake. Cancel those words. If you don't cancel, you'll be a thief in this town wherever you are. So you want to remove every word. Some pastors have called you church, church hopper, church prostitute. You keep on shifting churches. I want you to rise and say I'm not a church hopper i'm not a church prostitute open your mouth and begin to reverse every negative word father in the name of jesus we reverse every negative word la manda la masekete every negative word either from relatives people who are able to accommodate us people who are able to help us and they spoke behind our backs we know them others we don't know but today by the mercies of god every negative pr- pronouncement i affecting my money my marriage affecting my health affecting my business today by the mercies of god i will reverse we reverse begin to pray lende nenenesh falaka zakayande lekeda bahande makolo masika tabrando makala made grando boshende de de kala mandala masende 
Oh Father, any voice following the ladies. I'm seeing there's a spirit that is after women here that you are not admirable. There's a spirit that I, I see on ladies. You are here, you're a lady. People no longer fancy you. They don't look at you as a flower. They look at you as though you are you're gone. I revive your beauty right now in the name of Jesus. Sometimes people can attack your beauty. Beauty is spiritual. Any word spoken by a man or people that hate you is affecting your beauty as a woman. We restore it right now. Market. I reverse that word. Lebrandos. I'm seeing some words were spoken. Since they were spoken, I saw thorns. People are walking on thorns, which means those words were able to plant thorns. Every you go pain. Anything you do pain. You try to invest pain. You try to relate pain because they have planted thorns all over the place today by the masses of God. Any person that has planted a thorn along your path, I remove it. Rabba Kashanda. When some people some people can speak and then after that you begin to cry. All the time during the night you're crying. Events are orchestrated in your life to make you cry. Today I reverse those words. Le mande. Le mande le masa. Le mande ma mama. Ma kada dada basha grandobo. E babimbia kala masunda kabad. Robo shanda dada da. Kodo bazanda kada badaba. Robo bo shende bade grando. Ma kada bada badabo. Rabba kashanda bada grandobo. Rabba babanda grandobo shede badigra. Kada bazunda kada bada baza grando. Ma shede de de de. Kodo baze de granda bahando. In the name of Jesus. Kata bada bada ba. Rakada bada 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 bada. I see some people you have been tied. When the words were spoken, those words tied your hands. You're not doing financially. You're not doing well financially. Your finances are handicapped. Your hands are handicapped. Today, any word that is controlling and ruling your financial life, I reverse those words. I break those words. Me shedega. Robo kasuda kabrando. Robo shede de de de. Kodo bazin de granda bahanda. Ma debele bas. Kolo basaka tabala balaba. Some people you're rejected. All the time you're rejected anywhere you go. People push you around. They don't want to see you. People show interest uh, the first two months and then they begin to disappear. They don't pick your calls. They are supposed to get to, to marry you. They are supposed to relate with you. But after some time, they keep off. We call it rejection. Any spirit of rejection that is upon your life today that came because of people's words, it came because of people's words by the masses of God. I delete it. I delete it. I delete it. I delete it. It's a smell. I saw a smell coming from people's mouth. They speak and then the devil introduces the smell. Any smell covering your life that men keep on, keep on rejecting you. Your fiance is rejecting you. Your girlfriend is rejecting you today. I reverse it. I reverse it. I reverse it. I reverse it. La kadama mama mama mama. Robo shakata bahande. Ora mama sindi begrando. Leba di bakada bazanda kada badaba. Robo shanta bala badabo. Kada bazunda makada bada grando bodo 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 bodo. A sign that God loves you. I hear the Lord telling me that He's going to remove every person that keeps speaking ill of you. As long as they, are, they keep on talking about you, something is added to you. A curse is, is compounded. Any people that have been strategically placed in your life to curse you, to discuss about you, to gossip you, to slander you, I remove them right now. I remove them right by the man. Oh, shake it. By the masses of God, may they stop talking ill of you. May they shut their mouth. In the name of Jesus, Rabba Kasa Granda Baba Ba. There are people who have a mouth like an alligator, like a crocodile. All the time they are talking ill of you. Today I shut that mouth. I shut that mouth. No more curses. No more slander. Ma kana mashede. O Rabba Suka Tabahande. Raka Suga Dabahande. Rabba Sunda Madabada Bada 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 Ba. Yeah, God is removing those evil tongues. From today, people are going to see the will of God. The Lord is telling me that from today, some of us don't know the will of God over their lives. But today, by the masses of God, you shall begin to see the masses of God. The will of God shall know it. Yeah, I'm seeing a woman. I see a wedding has been released. You've been waiting to, for, for your wedding. I see it being released. 
Yes, one. I'm not talking about many. One. I've seen it. One. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The Lord is telling me this kind of lady, you've been invited to so many weddings. You've, you've participated in so many weddings. You have contributed your money, your time. I see you marching on the line uh, with other ladies uh, supporting that uh, many weddings. So if you're the one, your wedding has been... Re- I'm seeing rings in the atmosphere. I see rings dangling in the air. I push it to you right now in the name of Jesus. If you're here and you've been attending so many weddings, you've been contributing in those committees, you've been trying to match, I don't know how you call it, um, uh, that entourage. Yeah. The bridesmaid. Bridesmaid, yeah. But you as you've been waiting, I'm telling you it has been released. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you are here and there are so many debts. Many people are calling you, telling you, where is my money? You are a thief. Please give us our money. If you are here today, any person that introduced debt spirit in your life by spoken words, I reverse it. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. If you are here and you owe so many people and you are receiving so many calls because of debt, today I cancel those debts. I reverse the spirit responsible for the debts in the name of Jesus. Robo kashada bahande, raka sakata bala grando, madobolo basinde kada grando, madabada bada granda bada 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 ba. Yeah, I'm seeing wealthy hands. I'm seeing gold dust on people's hands. If you're here and you're struggling at work in your business financially, I see hands uh, shining because of the gold dust. I release finances. Aya kasakata, makata bada 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 bo. God is telling me to bless your cloth. God is telling me to bless your, your garments, anything you put on. Today, I bless your cloth. From today, when you appear before people, they shall admire you. They shall look at you and say you're beautiful. I restore that beauty upon your life in the name of Jesus. I bless your feet today. I bless your feet. Anywhere you go, you'll go to the right places. Yeah. May God order your steps. Today, I prophesy over your feet. Today, you shall not go to the wrong houses. If you want to know that your feet is cast, you go to a house, you're raped. You go to somewhere, things get stolen. You go to the wrong place, an accident happens. Today, you shall not go to the wrong house. May God order your steps today in the name of Jesus. May God order your steps in the name of Jesus. The Lord is telling me to bless your mind. Any confusion spirit afflicting your mind, I rebuke it. I bless your thoughts. You shall have good ideas for business. I see your mind shifting. I see godly thoughts being introduced into your life. Yes. You won't be thinking about suicide. You won't be thinking about pornography because I see the healing of the mind. I release it right now. In I'm blessing your mind, Maka Sakata. Your mind shall be productive. Your mind shall be productive. Aya Maka Sagada. Robo Shende Bedebas. Kodo bazundi di 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 di, kodo basa granda ba 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 ba. Yeah, I I restore honor. If you if you if you discover that nowadays people despise you, people used to highly esteem you, they used to respect you, they used to honor you, but nowadays they're looking at you like a byword. They don't take you seriously. They used to respect your words, but nowadays you speak and then they laugh sarcastically. If you're here and you've lost your honor, I speak and I release your honor back to you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Makana Masuga, O Rabashanda Bahande, Rukamada Baze Grando Bosch, Kodo Bosch, If you're here and you're married, you're trying to get a baby, you're trying to, to, to get pregnant, but it is not happening. I remove the word that is hanging on your womb. Some women, your womb is cast, especially if you're married. I'm not, I'm not praying for people who are single and they're looking for babies. No. I'm not blessing such kind of people. I'm blessing people that are legally married with your own husband, not side kick or side chick. I'm praying, I'm blessing people that are legally married and they're looking for the fruit of the womb. I bless your womb today. Any word hanging on your belly, on your womb, I reverse it right now. Maka tabahande. Raka saka tabahando. Robo kada badigranda bahad. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I saw people walking in sugarcane plantation. I'm seeing a vision right now. 
people walking in the sugarcane plantation, the Lord is telling me, from today, sweetness. You are going to see sweetness in your life. I decree sweetness. Any place you've been tasting bitterness in your life, bitterness in your marriage, your business, relationship in your family, there is sweetness. You're going to walk in sweetness. You are going to walk in sweetness. Makada badaba shadada. Rabaka soto bolobo. Rabaka sada bahande. Ibakato soto kodo. Ibarama sekete. Yeah, if you have been seeing shame, I clothe you with dignity. If you have been embarrassed, you're walking in shame. I clothe with dignity, dignity today. You shall not be embarrassed to see shame. It is done in the name of Jesus. Now I want to prophesy to some people and bless uh, the people that God will give me the grace to minister to. So uh, I just want to ask the moderator to uh, put some names. I, I speak individually. You know, some people whenever I speak a blessing corporately, uh, they, they don't believe that the ones they think is for somebody else. I have an interview next week. That is um, Picasso. Is Picasso here? Yeah, Picasso. I remove words that were spoken from your mom's family. I see jealous cousins in your family where your moms come from. Many people don't want you to do well. They compare themselves with you, so they have been speaking some words. That's why you're frustrated uh, because of the words. But I reverse those words. As you go for that interview, I bless you. You shall not be dry. Your pockets are dry, but I feel your pockets with finances right now. In the name of Jesus, because it is done. Alphonse, people, few people will get where you will get. The Lord is telling me that he's releasing a unique anointing. Few people will get where you will get. I'm seeing, I don't know if you do business. I'm seeing a very huge contract coming your way. I don't know if you do business or employed, but what I see... I see a signing signatures on a document. So I pray that wealth should be released in the name of Jesus. Yes, yeah, Samantha, people are clapping for you. The Lord is telling me you will be celebrated. I see a celebration in your honor coming to you very soon. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, Christine, I see protection. The Lord is telling me, don't worry about anything. I love you. And I'm going to protect your life. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. Yeah, it is done in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Monica, prepare for expansion. God he wants to create influence. Nobody knows about you, but I see people will begin now to notice you. There's a special grace that has come upon your life for, for fame. Many people shall talk about you because God wants to give you a big platform and you shall be known. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, God changed my story. My God, that is Kesha. It is done. I see the voice of defeat. I see a voice of defeat that has been around you, but it is gone. From today, you'll begin to register success like never before. I see a series of win, wins, winnings or success. Uh, Kennedy, God is bringing uh, one person. I'm seeing a woman coming into your life. But this woman is coming to transact. I see business deals around a particular woman. She'll open doors for you to, to prosper financially. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Damaris, there is favor for you to do extremely well. I see prosperity grace upon your hands. You shall trade. I see transactions that are so many. You shall trade. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Uh, bless my mind. I want to pass me. Yeah, Trisha, bless your mind. May you excel. May the spirit of wisdom and excellence rest upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Apostle Malik, how are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, I see favor upon your face. Malik, the Lord is telling me, people shall like you. You're going to attract people. A huge following. So prepare for fellowship. <laughs> Can I put it? For following. There's a very great following and people are, will be interested in what you do. So make ground because people are going to follow you tremendously. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Minister Njue, there is favor but you need a mentor. You don't have a mentor. I'm looking at your life. There's nobody to hold your hand and show you how it is done. So make sure that you look for a mentor, desire a mentor and I pray that you find that mentor. You have a lot of potential. You you hey, I'm telling you, you're an, an anointed apostle. You are an apostle to the nations. You shall break grounds. However, 
make sure that you have somebody that works with you closely to guide you in the name of Jesus. That's what I see. That's what I see. Uh, Umlo is saying, I've been passing through embarrassment. Okay. Father, any man, I, I'm seeing a man that used to be in your life. I'm seeing a man uh, that used to be in your life. He spoke negative words, but that man has a very bad tongue. Whatever thing he says comes to pass, especially negative things. So it was introduced by a man who, who because I'm seeing behind, I've been taken in the past, and the man was speaking ill of you, but I reverse every word that he has spoken over your life in the name of Jesus. It is done. You shall see glory. Yeah, nah, nah, there is favor, but you need to be faithful. I'm just going through your life. You don't, you don't follow through things until the end. You abandon tasks along the way. The Lord is telling me, be faithful. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Zion, people are clapping for you. There's something important that you'll do. You are going to accomplish much in the realm of man and people are clapping and celebrating you. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Nelson God heal my stepchild in the boarding yeah. Yeah, I pray for your stepchild. I release healing right now. I see fire going towards that direction. As I pray, as I saw fire go towards that direction in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, on Facebook I see joyful, joyful. Yeah, prepare for God has removed the tears. I see an angel wiping your tears. So joyful, your crying has come to an end in the name of Jesus. Uh, Grace Maura, God, I need divine help. Grace, it is done already. I saw a chariot. In the realms of the spirit, I saw a chariot. The Lord is telling me, you're about to move from where you are to another place. So I saw movement around your life in the name of Jesus. Yeah, is it this Tafazwa? Yeah, Tafazwa, people will celebrate you. Don't be sad. I don't want to see you sitting somewhere alone. Uh, you don't know what to do. You're just all alone. That atmosphere, I remove it. Yeah, God we will use it to do mighty things. I saw people coming to help you, to encourage you. Women, many women were surrounding you and they made you cheerful. Yeah, so I pray that the right women should show up to support you right now in the name of Jesus. Lindy was saying, funding from a non-profit organization. I remove failure. In the realms of the spirit, any man that used to be in your life and they introduced failure, I reverse a failure spirit from today. You shall not fail, but you shall begin to achieve bigger result in the name of Jesus. Uh, prophetess Tammy, yeah, I release a prosperity grace, something that was supposed to come to your dad. Your dad was supposed to be a very proper, uh, prosperous person, wealthy man, but it did not happen. I saw an angel doing a transfer. A transfer from your dad to your soul, you shall begin to see financial favor like never before in the name of Jesus. Uh, Evans, I just, I'm just praying for your health. I saw an arrow that came against you. You admitted and people were coming to see you with flowers in hospital. I reversed that transaction. You shall not be sick. You shall not be admitted in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's what I see. Uh, Maria it is done already. I saw an angel of prosperity walking around you. It is done. In the name of Jesus. Caroline, prepare for things that were difficult last year. will be easy this year. I saw some things you attempted last year. You're not able to break through, but I saw the same things. you thriving in them this year in the name of Jesus. I have been embarrassed a lot by my ex. Man, okay. Caro, I heal your hands. I heal your life. Yeah, it, it, those words came to your hands. They cast your hands. So nothing, you cannot build successfully. But today I reverse those words. From today I declare, Carol, you shall do very well and you shall not be embarrassed no more. That thing has come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Trying to, to been trying your business for long. Okay, I heal your hands. Today I multiply your resources. You shall, you're going to see double in your business in the name of Jesus. Nisha, I saw favor that was supposed to come to you, but you're not. Okay. I just pray for joy to come into your life. Yeah, that's the thing. Joy to come into your life. I thought I prayed for Carol Maya. Yeah, Carol Maya, I'm just protecting your life against disease and infirmity. You shall not be sick and admitted in the name of Jesus. It is done. Joy in financial blessing. 
yeah, it is done already. You will do better. You will do better. I see it is already happening in the spiritual realm. Uh, some things I don't have to prophesy because they're already happening. Uh, if you okay, okay, okay. It is done in the Linda. There is favor, but you need to be careful about your words. Sometimes you curse your, you, you, you curse yourself. You speak ill against yourself, and the devil uses those words to undermine you. Mother, people will clap for you. I saw an event very soon coming, and they, it was held in your honor, and people were celebrating you. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Mother, okay, I was already, okay. Okay. Yeah, Doris, award. anything you ever need is in your tongue. You have a very powerful tongue. Anything you say comes to pass. So, if I were you, I could sit down and declare things that I want to see. Just speak and write them. Speak as you write them. All of them shall come to pass. You have a prophetic tongue. You create things in the spiritual realm. So, do it for yourself. It will happen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see a name Petra Stone on Facebook. Yeah, Petra, I see beauty coming back on your face. You shall not be rejected. Any person that has ever rejected you, they'll come and apologize. I see favor coming upon a Petra Stone or Linella, whichever it is. I saw favor coming upon you in a tremendous way in the name of Jesus. Uh, Sharon Aswani. I see heavy blessing coming upon your life, but your prayer does not support what is coming. So, uh, Sharon, make sure that you take some time in prayer and you shall see the blessing yeah, Mirabel there is favor for you to do well God has removed that cloud that was hanging around you uh, sitting on you in the name of Jesus yeah Whitney there is favor for you to do well and you shall do very well I see you excelling in the name of Jesus yeah Amina it is possible that you can do well but be careful about friends I saw some people who come around women they lie to you, but they don't like you that much. Their hearts, I see swords in their hearts. I remove wrong friends in the name of Jesus. May God bring you the right people who will be true to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, 12 midnight. Yeah, I just, um, Andrew, yeah, there is fervor, but you don't have a mentor. You don't have something, somebody that you look up to, to to help you look for a mentor and I pray that may God bring the mentor in your life so that you'll begin to grow yeah mentors are very important uh, my friend want you to profess to her what's their name uh, are they there okay if they're there let me just um, I just mentioned the name I mentioned the name so that I pray with them yeah, yeah Wellington Whatever thing was taken from your hands two years ago, you saw some losses two years ago. By the masses of God, I restore your wealth and your fortunes in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, Betty, people are clapping for you. God is telling me to tell you the crying season has come to an end. I saw so many tears around you. You have suffered a lot. But today, that time has expired. I saw you enter a land called Joyland. Joyland, which means you're going to a place whereby you begin to laugh and celebrate. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Rosil, there is favor for you to expand. You shall do well. Yeah, I saw favor and I could smell perfume around you, which means the favor of God is upon you. Go and succeed in the name of Jesus. Lucy, beauty has come back into your life. Things you lost five years ago. I was taken back into your life five years ago. There was something peculiar with your life, but it was taken away. It was robbed. But I saw the hand of God resting on you, and God is telling me, I've restored her beauty. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, on Facebook, I'm praying for Isaac or Terry. Isaac, I break the spell of debt. Any man that is working around the clock in your village to make sure that you're embarrassed, you lose your job, I block that man. They no longer see you. I saw sometimes... They're able to see you using their instruments of witchcraft. Anything Isaac does, they're able to monitor you and see. If you're about to do th good things, they divert it. I blind any monitoring spirit against you, Isaac. They will not see you. They will not follow you. They shall not interfere with what God is doing, Isaac, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
yeah, are a few things that are supposed to come will come quickly. I saw a spirit of delay trying to push away things that are supposed to come into your life. I rebuke delay right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Gloria, favor for expansion. Things are coming to you. I see a magnetic force around you to attract things. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, Melody, people are celebrating you. God is telling me the spirit that was hindering celebrations in your life has been broken. So to, today, events that bring celebration are going to be so many in your life. Receive it in the name of the bride. There is favor for expansion. You want to, you've been stagnating for so long, but I saw you have left where you've been dwelling. I saw you walking in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yeah, Sylvia, satanic works that were done against your life when you were growing up as a, as a girl, small girl. I uh, saw so people coming around you. They were not nice people touching your head. So be careful. Don't allow people to be touching your head of your child. So they touched your head and introduced a spirit of failure. You've noticed, you've noticed that sometimes you fail a lot and you wonder what's wrong with me. I reverse that spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Samuel Mwangi. Yeah, there is beauty coming upon all that. Anything you touch is going to attract a beauty. And God is telling me anything that was taken away from your hands has been restored. So you're going to do extremely well from today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you're here for, for the first time, you can follow us. Follow this account. Yeah, Diambo Olo on, on Facebook. Yes, I pray for you. I remove that failure spirit. Any man that came into your life and introduced. I see part of it was introduced by a man. It's a spirit of failure. You just fail in everything, but I reverse it. You should not be hanging. I, I'm seeing as though you are just hanging. You're not settled, but I pray for, from today, I introduce a settlement spirit. You shall be established and settled. You won't be hanging in the atmosphere. May you settle on the ground in the name of Jesus. Rachel, favor with people, no more rejection. People shall not be pushing you away. I saw a rejection spirit, but it has gone. I saw people embracing you from today and forth in the name of Jesus. It is done. Henry, um, let me just use the word Henry. Henry, it is done. God will expand all that you do, but be careful about friends. Don't connect with people without understanding their agenda. Some people will come around you saying, let us work together, but they are working to swindle you. They'll pretend they want to invest or work with you, but at the end of the day, they'll take away from you. So be careful about friends who will come around you. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, Michelin, 12 doors are opening. I saw flags of many nations around you. You shall go to many nations in the name of Jesus. Right here, I prepare for expansion. You shall not remain on the same spot. In the name of Jesus. If you're here and you want to give your life to Jesus, let me know. If you're here and you want to give your life to Jesus, let me know. I pray with you. You want to surrender your life to Christ? Let me know. I pray with you. Yeah, Wanja, any word that was spoken by a man, I see a man that used to be in your life many years ago. You differed, and they said you shall be stranded the rest of your life. Yeah, I don't know what transpired, but they were, this, the, these are the words you shall be stranded. So, any situation that you find yourself that like you're stranded, now you can understand where it came from. It came from that man who was disgusted by how you behaved during that time. Uh, so, each time you find yourself you're stranded, you don't know what to do, nobody is there to help you. It was introduced by a man, but today I reverse any word that causes you to get stranded all the time. It is done. Your life is healed right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, 
yeah the rest of you i just bless you any word i spoke for uh concerning a blessing it's, it's for everybody so don't think that it was for a few people but for everybody they are for everybody they are for everybody yeah i want to pray for people to to come back to jesus and dedicate your life if you're here and you know very well that you're backslidden i want to pray for you to reconnect back to god so let me know if you're here i pray with you uh, and also i want to invite all of you uh, for a moment of giving uh, this um, ministry has been a blessing to you uh, this uh, ministry has been a, been, a, been a blessing to you i want to invite you for a moment of giving yeah if you're on facebook our details are on the screen you can see them uh, we have them per sign in case you're in east africa we have the bank details we have the paper yeah we have the send wave and on tiktok uh, that is in pesa send wave and while remit you can use it but in case you want to do with paper you can let us know God bless those who are giving, those who have given in the course of the, the broadcast. May God multiply your resources. May God remove a curse around your finances in the name of Jesus. You shall not beg or borrow in the name of Jesus. The blessings that have been declared over this forum shall follow you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, for those who are here for the first time, go to our YouTube uh, and uh, begin to look for teachings about blessing. I've taught, uh, I've taught um, deeply concerning blessing, uh, but today we wanted to release it, uh, to release blessings on people because some of us, other ones are already ruling our life, so we need to remove it. It is done. Yeah, I'm seeing two women, you are here, you're watching me. And in a dream you saw that you are fishing. There are two women listening to me right now. You had a dream that you are fishing. And the Lord is telling me you need to do evangelism. There are two women. God is telling you you're an evangelist. You need to be talking to people about Jesus. That's your calling. So in case you're the one, hit the ground. Start to talk about Jesus. That's what those dream, that dream means what it means yeah and you, you, you'll start by talking to people but eventually I saw you talking to nations you shall go to nations that's what I saw yeah we are finishing so those who are uh, giving or given God bless you uh, the next time we meet is on Monday at midnight yeah I'm excited for you I'm happy for you I've seen a lot of things falling on people. God bless you. Uh, may God bless your coming in and going out. Anything you do is blessed. May God preserve you and keep you in the name of Jesus. Amen.